Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at the main difference between a saved search and an auto email. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now for anyone who's already familiar with Matrix, you already know that when creating either a save search or an auto email, you first need to begin by generating some results. And from here, the main difference between these two features is how you'd like to use them in the future. By saving your search, you're essentially just saving the criteria so that the next time that you'd like to run that exact same search again, you don't have to go through the entire process of re-entering those fields. For example, by generating this search for my new customer, Dwayne, I can then save his criteria under a unique search name, as well as make this search easy to find by adding it to my favorites and specifically associating it with Dwayne. All right, so now that Dwayne's search has been saved, anytime that I'd like to see a list of properties that matches saved criteria, I can either run the save search from the favorite searches widget, from the collection of all saved searches, or finally, directly from my client's contact management section. And from here, I could run a market update to view only the new or updated properties during a specified period of time. But since this search is actually brand new, I'm going to click results so that I can see everything. And from here, I can now choose whichever properties I'm interested in sharing, as well as use any of the other available options found on the button bar. All right, so now let's assume that after several weeks of occasionally running this safe search manually, Dwayne has just requested more consistent updates and now wants to receive daily notifications of any new or updated properties that match his criteria. And since we already have Dwayne's criteria saved in a safe search, instead of creating a brand new auto email from scratch, we simply need to access the safe search settings, then click to turn the safe search into an auto email. And from here, you'll notice the criteria is already being imported. So now all that's left to do is simply to configure the rest of the auto email and save. All right, so just to recap, a save search will allow you to manually generate a search at any time in the future using the specific criteria that was saved as part of that save search. On the other hand, an auto email will automatically generate search results and send them during a set schedule using whatever criteria was saved with that auto email. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.